What's up, YouTube? It's Big Lou tapping on in with a little bit more of some boxing. And it's official. It's going to be July 30th, 2022 at the Barclays Center. It's going to be none other than my boy, Danny Swift Garcia, coming in to fight uh, Jose Benavidez Jr. And Danny Garcia is 32 years old, 5'8", 154 pounds. It's going to be his first fight at super welterweight or junior middleweight, however you want to call it, right? And he's got a reach of 68 and a half inches. He is the former WBA, w, uh, WBA and WBC junior welterweight champion and the ring magazine champ. Also WBC, uh, former WBC welterweight champion, right? And he's going to be going up against David, uh, excuse me, David Benavides' older brother, Jose Benavides. And he's six foot, so he's going to be a lot taller than Danny. And he's also coming in at 154. This is also his first fight at, at super welterweight, junior middleweight. And he's got a 74-inch reach. So that means he's got six and a half inches on, or uh, he's got five and a half inches reach on Danny. And he's also going to be three and a half inches taller. And Benavides comes in at 27 wins, one loss, and one draw at eight with 18 knockouts. Uh, he's got his uh, notable wins are against an, a, a unanimous decision winner against uh, Maurice uh, Herrera, and he also has a TKO win over Jorge Paez Jr. And his key loss, notable losses to none other than Bud Crawford on a TKO loss. Uh, Danny Garcia is. 36 and 3 with 21 knockouts and he's got notable notable key wins against uh Brandon Rios, Zab Judah, Adrian Granados, Amir Khan, Pauli Malinaji, Eric Morales, Robert Guerrero, Lamont Peterson. He also beat Maurice Herrera and the boogeyman himself Lucas Matisse. And he beat, uh, for his very first title, he beat Eric Morales, the legend, the Mexican legend. He beat him for the, I believe it was the WBC Junior Welterweight title. And then he, in the rematch, he beat him again in the rematch. Knocked him through the ring, I believe, and he retired him. And then he also knocked out Amir Khan for the WBA Super Junior Welterweight. And the ring, um, the ring magazine title was vacant. He also won that. And then for the WBC, it was a vacant title because I believe um, Floyd Mayweather, when he went up to 154, when he retired, he vacated the belt, the WBC welterweight title. And it, it was up for grabs against him and Robert Guerrero. And uh, he, key losses for Danny Garcia. He's only lost at welterweight, and he's lost to straight champions. He lost his last fight against Earl Spence, who at the time was the... WBC and the IBF welterweight champion and since then he's defeated Ugas to become a uh, unified champ with three belts IBF WBC WBA and now like we know he's going to be fighting Bud Crawford for the WBO title so whoever wins that fight will be undisputed king at welterweight okay he also lost to Porter um, for a WBC vacant belt which was, I believe it was stripped from Thurman for whatever reason. He didn't fight the mandatory, probably. And then he lost to Thurman for the WBC. Thurman was a WBA welterweight champ, and Garcia was a WBC. So it was a unification bout, and Thurman won that. And in both those fights uh, against Porter and Thurman, Danny wasn't active. He started out really slow, and then, you know, he's playing catch-up by that time. You know, especially with Thurman. Thurman has a lead, so he was... Distancing, distancing himself from away from uh, Garcia, you know what I mean. So he was basically chasing him around, which, like I said, it was too late. So he lost. So I'm looking forward to that fight. Of course, I'm going with Garcia, Danny Garcia. Um, this is gonna be his first fight at 154. So we got to see. He said he feels a lot stronger. Um, so we'll have to see. You know what I mean. Uh, I'm going with Garcia. I'm gonna say a decision, a split decision victory. That's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with. If he knocks him out, uh, I'll be very juiced about it. Obviously, I'd be su kind of surprised also. Uh, and if he does knock him out, it just looks a lot better for him when he has to fight guys like Jared Hurd, the other Swift, and um, 
and uh, Ricky Harrison, and uh, as we know, Jamel Charlo has all the belts. So, you know, if he wants to become a champion like he does at 154, he wants to become a three three division champion. He's gonna have to fight uh, Charlo. You know, that's all there is to it. Uh, uh, Lara, the Cuban fighter, is at I believe he's at a middleweight champ. He's got one of the belts at middleweight right now. WBA, he called out Danny Garcia, which is a little heavier than him, so I don't know if they would fight at a catch weight, maybe. Um, then again, remember, Miguel Cotto was only 155, and he was a, mid a middleweight champion. He defeated Sergio Martinez. So, yeah, there's a lot of options for Danny if he can win this fight, you know. Yeah. But I'm definitely going with Danny. And, uh, like I said, split decision. I I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'll go with split decision. Leave your comments, uh, what you think will happen in the comments section. Uh, give me your input, too, what you think Danny should do next if he wins. How's it look for him on a Charlo fight or one of these other bigger names at the, at the one, at 54? And uh, with that being said, Big Luke going to tap on out again. Audi.